Top of the morning to ya. Top of the morning to ya. Hey, I hope you all slept well last night. I hope that you all are doing well today. I hope this video finds you in good spirits and good energy. So this video is going to be about exercise guidelines. Um, and I'm going off of what the CDC is saying for activity, activity recommendations on a weekly basis for older adults, okay? Because that's what this video is primarily focused towards. But everyone should be hitting these Everyone should be hitting these, these numbers, you know? But I'm going to start off with some statistics because these are kind of profound, shocking. And some of them that are shocked, the most shocking ones that I found were more than 80% of adults do not meet guidelines for aerobic or muscle strengthening. 80%. I mean, I know that we can do better than that, you know? And I mean, that's a big number. That's a big number. That that just means that the, the population either isn't correctly educated on the benefits of exercise or we have or, or, or our society has just watered down what it can do so I'm gonna revamp this I'm gonna do my best to help people exercise more okay so we got some more statistics that are profound one in three adults receive the recommended amount of physical activity every week so as we see that 80 percent of adults is a is a range more than likely it's probably like 60 to 80 roughly and these statistics were kind of pulled from different uh places so there may be some overlap there may be some thing let's continue let's continue so this is this that this one was interesting for me so 35 okay so this first statistic is going to be 75 years or older and then i'm going to say another statistic that it's going to be 65 to 74 okay so the first one 75 years and older 35 to 44 percent of adults 75 years or older are physically active but listen to this 28 to 34 percent of adults ages 65 to 74 are physically are physically active that means that people are younger and exercising less. And then as they get older, they're increasing their physical activity. And I don't know this to be factual besides these statistics. This is just me speculating from off of these statistics. I bet, I'd be willing to bet that as people are getting older, disease is hitting harder. And now they're like, you need to start exercising. But like... If we wait until disease hits, our body is less capable to handle that disease, okay? So now, let's talk about the actual numbers that we should be hitting. So these are numbers that we should be hitting roughly every week. And no, there's no roughly about it, every week. 150 to 300 minutes of exercise weekly. Okay, biking, walking, swimming, okay. And honestly, I think that's broken down to like 30 minutes a day, which, and you can break that up into 10 minutes, three times a day. You know, that's all gonna be how you, how your level of activity right now. You know, like these are guidelines, these are recommendations. Not everyone's gonna be able to just start these and jump right into them and, and that's it. You know, like they're not, not everyone's going to be able to withstand that activity, especially if you take someone that's bed bound and they're not doing much of anything right now. So, you know, I encourage you to take your time whenever you do begin to do exercise, take it slow and just progress week after week. You may start off with, you know, someone that's not doing anything. I mean, Let's just try to do 50 minutes, you know, let's try to, let's try to do two days of walking, you know, trying to get at least 30 minutes of activity in there. Um, so to go further, that's the activity. That's the, the aerobic portion of that. The next thing is we should be hitting at least two days 
of strength training or resistance training weekly, two days. So those muscles should be getting worked two times out of that seven day week. Exercise is, is great for us. Um, I know it's something that, that sucks. I mean, I don't even want to exercise all the time. Like, I'm not sitting there acting like I'm holier than thou or, or that this just comes easy for me. It's literally something that on the weekly basis, I have to make myself do, especially um, resistance training. Like, I don't always want to, to perform resistance training because sometimes things can become monotonous and that's where like kind of switching things up can be beneficial. But there are, there are a significant amount of physiological benefits that come from exercise. And I feel like in our society, we have watered them down so significantly that people see no benefit in exercise. They would rather take a pill to deal with their ailments as opposed to doing something that is natural and that you can do yourself and that really is purely net positive. Like, and I'm not saying that medications are bad. If we need medications, there's no if, ands, or buts about that. We need them. The only thing that bothers me is whenever we start to think like our mentality becomes defeated and that we see no point in exercising anymore. We see no benefit in it. And it's not gonna just be overnight. Like this is something that, that that's gonna take time. It takes time and effort and energy and you pushing your own comfort zone to reach these goals. Um, you know, if, you know, I know that you've all heard this before, but if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. If it was easy, I mean, well, I can't say that because sometimes people have injuries that for sure need assistance. But all in all, I just encourage you, whoever's listening to this right now, if you have not been getting up and, and trying to get your heart rate up, trying to make your your body better than what it is right now i encourage you to do that to start to do that or, be, or al allow that thought process to begin to permeate your brain because aging doesn't always have to be difficult or it doesn't have to be something that we are afraid of or something that we think that because we're you know 55 years old 60 years old that we can't do this anymore that's what young people do like that is that is a defeated mentality and and one that 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 needs to be eradicated because it's just not true so i want this video to be pure motivation for you to push your capacity because once you start that process I am certain that you are going to be surprised with the capabilities that you're able to achieve. You are stronger than what you think you are, and you can do more than what you think that you can do. But if you don't take that step and attempt that feat, you are never going to know. And if you don't start if you don't start to try to better your body, to get stronger, to walk further, you're only going to get worse. Like, I think the numbers like after 25 or 30 years old, like, like our, we begin to die. Like every day, you know, telomeres. Are getting shorter maybe not that fast but like telomeres are getting shorter and that's the the ends of the chromosomes um, so we're dying as we age I mean to not to be morbid or anything like that but like we're dying and that 
dying process doesn't have to be something that we just allow to happen. We can slow it a little bit. We can do things ourselves to help that process, to maintain our function, to maintain the ability to walk for a mile without becoming so significantly fatigued that you're just wiped out for the rest of the day. It doesn't have to be that way. So I just encourage you to think about the things that I've said today. Share this with someone that, that, that you think could benefit from it. I think that everyone could benefit from it. You know, like the things that I say, I'm not saying it just to you. I'm saying it to myself. These are things that I tell myself every day, even whenever I don't feel like doing it, you know. But but at the end of the day, you know, it's your life, your decisions, you know, and the decisions that you make today affect your tomorrow. But I strongly encourage you to think about tomorrow. All right. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. If you got any questions, drop a comment. I'm going to put my email below. Um, reach out with any questions that you may have. I'm more than willing to help out with anything. I, 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 I love this. I, this is what I love to do. This is what I love to do. So if you got questions about your body, if you got questions about exercise, injuries, rehab, ask, ask. Seriously, there's no stupid questions, I promise. All right, have a good day. Top of the morning to ya. Bye-bye. <laughs>